Hey, it's Ping Rob, and today we'll be setting up ADB on our Windows 11 PC. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. It's used in conjunction with an Android device that's plugged into your PC to perform a wide variety of special functions. So wide, in fact, that I decided to make a standalone video about how to set up ADB. Without this video, I'd end up repeating myself a lot in future tutorials. To set up ADB, we'll first need to download the latest version of the Android SDK Platform Tools zip file. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below, but for right now I'm just going to hit enter here. Hit download it. And once that's done, we're going to open it up. Click on that. Extract it. And I'm going to go ahead and extract it to Downloads. Apps, click on Apps, going to make a new folder called ADB, select that, hit OK, we're going to extract it right there. OK, and now what we need to do is we need to go to exactly where we just extracted that file, so I'm going to open File Explorer, Downloads, Apps, ADB, Platform Tools, and this is one part of Windows 11 that I really like. All I need to do now is right-click somewhere in the folder, not on a file, click on Open in Windows Terminal. And notice it's already changed my working directory to the folder where ADB is because that's where I invoked it from. So at this point, plug in whatever device you want to work with in ADB, then type in ADB devices. And that's it! You're ready to establish ADB connections and run ADB commands on any Android device with USB debugging enabled. At this point, you can return to whichever tutorial sent you here and continue following its instructions from wherever you left off.